Have you ever watched a competitive Pokemon stream and wondered if your favorite Pokemon could hold their own in the scene? Have you ever gotten tired of seeing such similar teams in a centralized meta and wish there were a bit more… variety? Well, let's be real, the most popular competitive Pokemon are popular for a reason, they're the most consistent. But what if I told you that in the right scenario and on the right team, even your favorite Pokemon could shine? Welcome to Community Chaos. This is a series where I take Pokemon chosen by you, the community, and build a team around them to win games on the in-game rank ladder, and in doing so, trying my best to prove that any Pokemon can be usable, or at least fun to use, competitively. The self-imposed rules for the challenge are down in the description if you're interested and want to know the guidelines, and as always, there are timestamps, or chapters, in the video so you can skip straight ahead to the games if you want to. Be sure to comment on this video with your choice on what I should use next, and if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me out a ton here on YouTube and lets me know that you want to see more of this series. Now, let's look at the feature Pokémon of this episode of Community Chaos, the Dunsparce. Okay, so the idea of this team that I've built around the Dunsparce is centered around three things in particular. Lots of speed control, status spread using glare, and lots of flinching moves for para-flinching. There are actually a lot of appealing things about the Dunsparce when it comes to its stats and move pool. It's got a stat spread of 125 HP, 100 attack, 80 defense, 85 special attack, 75 special defense, and 55 speed. This Pokemon is actually really, really close to being truly competitively viable in my opinion, as it gets access to Tailwind, Glare, and a strong stab move that bypasses Protect in Hyper Drill. I didn't even know that the Dunsparce got a move like that until I started making this video. And it even gets Serene Grace for that massive 60% flinch rate with Rock Slide. Its biggest downfall is its speed, and it's really a shame it couldn't have a bit less special attack and a bit more speed to compensate. I think it'd be a really, really good niche Tailwind Setter and Disruption Pokemon if it weren't just so slow. I did go for a more bulky set here as well with Citrus Berry uh, for extra survivability, as I think you get a lot, of, a lot more value keeping it on the field as long as possible uh, than you do for it being faster or you know having another item. Terra Ghost is for fakeout users and making its fighting weakness and immunity instead. Speaking of fakeout users, I thought immediately to pair to Dunsparce with a fakeout user. This Rillaboom is actually a fairly fast one relative to what I usually use, just because I do want to try and have it be the fastest fakeout user on the field on turn 1. The idea is to fake out the Pokemon that threatens the Dunsparce the most on the field, and I have the option from there to set up either Tailwind or a uh, paralyzed Pokemon with Glare. I went with Miracle Seed just because I want Protect, and also because I wanted Dragonite to have Assault Vest more. Uh, I'll get to that later. I've also got Intimidate support in the form of Landris Therian, a very standard set here with Choice Scarf and Terra Flying, as well as Terra Blast. Double Rock Slide with the Dunsparce and Landorus versus a couple of paralyzed Pokemon on the other side of the field sounds like a lot of fun for me, at least. Uh, now we have Choice Specs Flutter main. Uh, Choice Specs Flutter is here to deal a load of damage after the table is set, so to speak, by the Dunsparce and Iron Bundle, and we'll get to that later as well. Fluttermane is a Pokemon that usually has something people call fourth move syndrome when it's using Choice Specs. It generally only has three truly useful moves, those being Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, and Dazzling Gleam. But the fourth move can be anything from Thunderbolt to Power Gem to Energy Ball to even Parish Song or Trick Room, depending on the team. Hex, I felt, was actually a really good option for the fourth move here to deal even more damage to the Pokemon that Dodon Sparse manages to paralyze. Generally, when I use Flutter, I find myself almost never clicking that fourth move that I have, whatever it is. We'll see if I end up clicking it at all or wishing that I had another fourth move. Alright, now we have Dragonite, and I noticed at this point when building this team after I had added Fluttermane that I definitely needed another pivot Pokemon or something I can switch in safely in a lot of different situations, and preferably one that helped against Urshifu Rapid Strike, since I knew Rillaboom probably wouldn't be enough for it. 
Enter super bulky Dragonite with a salt vest and a hyper coverage set. A dragon type I thought would be a really good fit in general for this team makeup, although I realized after building that it might be a bit Terra hungry versus teams with Fluttermane. But I think we still have a lot of tools to deal with Fluttermane on the opposing side. Uh, Terra Steel Iron Head is one of them, and Terra Fire Rillaboom is another one. Those both definitely help against Fluttermane. And I also have enough special defense investment on Dragonite to live a choice specs Moonblast from Flutter. Also, hey, Iron Head? 30% flinch chance. Hell yeah. And finally, to round out the team, we have Speed Booster Energy Iron Bundle with Encore, Icy Wind, and Freeze Dry. I wanted something specifically with speed control in this last slot, and preferably something that doesn't mind running Protect either. I like three Protects on a team. I think anything less generally isn't great for a Trick Room matchup unless you have a team that can deny it or has a bunch of priority, which this team definitely isn't and doesn't. The extra speed control will definitely help with this team, and Encore shenanigans can punish unsuspecting Pokemon using moves like Fake Out, Protect, or Setup moves and render them completely useless, and is also really nice to have, especially in a closed team sheet environment like the in-game ladder. All right. Without further ado, this is the team. Let's get into the games. Uh, this will actually be the last episode of Community Chaos, where I will be playing on the Regulation E ladder. The next episode, uh, hopefully coming this weekend, uh, or this next weekend, the ladder will have moved on to Regulation F, which means one thing, an even wider selection of Pokemon for you to choose from, for me to use. Uh, again, be sure to leave a comment with your choice, and enjoy the games. All right, here we go. Game number one. All right, we have Pow Knight. Oh, okay. I I know what the majority of this team does. I brought basically this team to San Antonio, except I had Frigograph instead of uh, instead of Landorus Therian there. Um, so I know exactly what this team is going to try to do. Uh, how to stop it? I mean, like, how do you even stop Pow Knight for me? Um, I do know that. Uh, hmm. I don't know, they might not send out Pound Knight. Um, but yeah, I do like the Dunsparce lead probably in all these games. Uh, yeah, we'll send out the standard. Send out the standard. Uh, I don't know about the Dunsparce Rilla. Like, the Dragonite's got inner focus. Uh, so, like, the Intimidator probably won't be great. Uh, Fluttermane is an option to like sort of protect the Dunsparce, but hmm. How exactly do I want to play this? I think I do like the Dunsparce, Rilla. Um, I like... Let's go Dragonite and, uh, and Bundle. We'll see how this works. Honestly, <laughs> this is, uh, th this, this might be kind of tough. This might be a tough matchup. We'll see. Having trouble like figuring out in my head like exactly like which mon's gonna go up against which, but we'll we'll play it by ear as the game starts. Alright, I am interested to see the lead. It's probably it's Powrilla. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if my fake out is faster than their fake out. Um also wary of a, a potential sacred sword into the, the Dunsparce here. Um, but also, like, the Pals probably tempted to go for the Rilla? I... Alright. I kind of, like, Terra Fire Fake Out into the Rillaboom with my Rillaboom and glaring... Probably their Rillaboom, I think. Yeah, Terra Fire Fake Out you. Terrifier just to avoid the Icicle Crash uh, potential one-hit KO from Chen Pao. We'll see how this plays out. We'll see who's Rilla's faster. But, like, I put speed on my Rilla just to, just, like, specifically for the situation. They went for Protect on Pao. Okay. 
All right, awesome. Our fake out went first, and their Rilla's gonna get paralyzed. That's a really good turn one for us. Very nice. All right, now we just kind of rock slide until... Uh... Well... <laughs> until they hopefully flinch. Uh, I wonder if rock slides a two at KO on Chen Pao. I did not calc that. My guess is it is. Yeah, I like just rock slide and... Uh... Now we keep Rilla on the field. We keep Rilla on the field and we'll uh we'll glide the Chen Pao. We'll glide the Chen Pao and maybe the glide plus the rock slide will knock it out. I honestly have no clue. Oh, that should knock it out. Crunch into the Rilla. And hopefully we'll get a flinch. On the Rilla, please. 60% plus para. Nope. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, with Serene Grace, 60% flinch chance plus uh, paralysis, there's like a 70... I think there's actually exactly a 70% chance for them to be either paralyzed or flinched on any given turn. So, that's slightly unlucky. They haven't Terra'd. Um, they basically just traded, traded their Chen Pao for my Rillaboom, which is a trade that I will take. Uh, we'll see who they send out now. I kind of like Bundle in this situation. Uh, I also like Hyper Drill into their uh, into their Rilla, but I actually like. Hmm. You know, I like Dragonite actually. Uh, Dragonite. I like a Dragonite and then a double up into the uh, into the Rilla on this turn. Their Dragonite. Probably, I don't know, might have Outrage, might not. Might be an Aqua Jet set, but it's probably Choice Banded based on the team. Uh, so, I mean, we still have Rock Slide here. But I also do want to Paralyze. <laughs> um, I wonder if Outrage KOs the Dunsparce. I do have a bunch of options here, but I actually do like glare hmm. well iron head okay well iron head into the rilla okay they're switching out the rilla iron head into the rilla or into the rilla slot that makes sense we do have stomping on dragonite they are probably afraid of a dragon move on my own Dragonite here, or they're just going for extreme speed. One or the other, but they're not going to KO either of these mons with extreme speed, especially not with Chen Pao, uh, Chen Pao on the field for them. So I'm okay with this. Their Dragonite's going to get paralyzed. And they are locked into extreme speed. But, well, okay. <laughs> they don't have the speed. Uh, we don't have the speed advantage anymore. I mean, they're locked into extreme speed, so like that's fine. They're presumably locked into extreme speed. We can't be certain, but it's probably it is probably a uh... well, now. Our extreme speed's faster though. Hmm. I. Honestly, kind of feel like I need to preserve uh, Dragonite here for stomping into Heatran. I don't like this at all, actually. I don't like how this is playing out. Um, I mean, Dun the Dunsparce is doing its job. Yeah, we're going to try to preserve Dragonite. Like, hopefully, they actually target the Dunsparce on this turn. <laughs> This is tough, especially with no Hydro Pump on Bundle. Like, Bundle's got Encore, so... Encore's not gonna help me right now. Extreme Speed won't kill Bundle. 
but <laughs> this will if it hits. Yo, we avoided it. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Just paralyzing everything. We need we need to actually get like a pair off on a on D night. Like doing that would be sweet. I wonder if I if I could like protect. Uh, the Dunsparce took that heat wave like a champ. Like the Dunsparce is super bulky. Um, I like. I don't know if I like Rock Slide. I mean, it's it's damage. Uh, I feel like D Knight might target the Dunsparce here. We'll see if we can just get some chip. Honestly, Bundle can't do anything really to either of these mons. Oh, cool. We got the para off. Okay. Okay. So, D Knight got para for once. And Rock Slide missed. Okay. Well, luck goes both ways. I wonder if they've caught on from that protect. That well, I mean, they, okay, so they were pressuring extreme speed damage, but like they probably still don't know that my bundle doesn't have hydro pump, <laughs> uh, which is a, a shame for me right now. Uh, I really kind of wish it did. At this point, this is pretty much a loss for me. Uh, so we're we're gonna be 0 for one here. We do kind of have to just pray for... Uh, okay, yeah, we have to pray for that. We have to pray for... Like, flinch hacks. Come on, this is what this team was made for. Come on, flinch hacks, let's go. Brock Slide is missing Dragonite again? Alright, well, we can't flinch hacks if we don't hit Rock Slides. <laughs> I mean, like... Also, I haven't flinched anything a single time yet. This is... Okay. Hmm. We need another flinch for... We need another flinch on Dragonite. Nope. Okay. Or another para, rather. Alright, so the Dunsparce is gone. Uh, And I can't even freeze it. Okay, yeah, so... You know, D-Knight can come in and probably E-Speed their Dragonite. It doesn't seem incredibly bulky from the freeze-dry damage. Uh, so it's it might be just like, maybe not max-max, but... They still have Rillaboom in the back, too, so... Um, but the Rilla can't... I mean, it's probably chipped enough so that it can. We'll see if Extreme Speed kills here. I think Flash Cannon just... Well, not with Assault Vest. Hmm, this might actually be interesting. Nope, that didn't even kill. Nice. Okay, it got Para. That's huge. Not the Heatran, though. This Heatran needs to get para I mean, it, I think we're in fake-out range now, though, so like that's kind of bad. Uh, it's pretty much an auto win for them at this point. Like, as soon as Rilla comes in, we're dead. Uh, also Grassy, well, not Grassy Glide because of extreme speed, but... Um... Yeah, we'll Stomping you. Hope Dragonite gets parried again. Okay. Their Dragonite really liked getting parried that game, but... Even though we lost, um... <laughs> it, it's, it's fun to try and, like, parahinch... Parahinch, paraflinch hacks, uh, I suppose. A ladder, you know, for all the times it's happened to me, I guess, in the past. Um, but, like, I don't know. I hope we see the vision, even if the vision is a little bit short sighted. Um, but, yeah, the Dunsparce was probably the MVP of that match, even though we lost badly. All right. All right, game number two. Okay, it's a uh, Fluttermane, Heatran, Ogre Pond, Water, Chimpow, Grimmsnarl, Rillaboom. 
All right, so screen support makes this um, a little weird. Can I deny screens? I can probably deny screens if I send out Rillaboom plus, uh, plus Dragonite. Both with priority and both with, uh, with like fake out plus uh yeah like like the only pokemon on this team that can touch dragonite is fluttermane okay and chen pal um but i can terra steel terra steel dragonite and then it becomes weak to uh it's weak to heatran i don't know if i like the dunsparce in the back though like, I feel like the Dunsparce just works well as a lead. So, like, maybe we can't deny screens, but we can probably stall them out and just, like, hit them with our own... You know, hit them with our own, uh... Our own, like, game plan with, uh, with status spread. So, like, their, their game plan... If their game plan is screens, our game plan is paralysis so let's make it happen let's see if we can counter it yeah it's fluttermane grim snarl okay so could be fake out grim snarl it could be uh either way i wonder if Woodhammer would ko fluttermane uh through reflect my guess is no, but you never know. Um, Alright, I like Glare on Flutter. And I actually kind of like a Fake Out. Into Grim Snarl. This time I'm not going to Terrify Arilla. Okay, Flutter may not tearing. No Switch either. Moonblast into the Rilla does not KO. Alright, so... And it's not speed booster, right? It's not like booster. It's probably spec. Like, with that damage, it's probably specs. Uh, so... Woodhammer plus Rock Slide probably gets the KO on the Flutter... Uh, depending on the Flutter speed investment, we might outspeed it, but it's unlikely. Like, from that damage, I can only guess that it's modest. But I like just doubling up on the Flutter. Even through Reflect, like, Woodhammer might KO Flutter. Depending on their, their investment. Nope, not quite. But we'll see if, uh, we'll see if... Fluttermane outspeeds despite being paralyzed. Nope, they're a bulky slow flutter. Sick. All right. Yeah, my Dedun Sparse, I think hits. Uh, it's either 82 or 8. No, it's 84 speed, uh, so that it can outspeed Chiyu either under Tailwind or if the Chiyu is paralyzed. Um, so, yeah, that Flutter main was 168 speed or lower which is pretty slow for a Flutter these days. I feel like they're getting faster. Or we'll see what, Re what uh, Reg F brings for, like, different Flutter spreads. All right, they have Chen Pao now. Our Flutter main is super bulky. Um, it will live an adamant, like, uh, Icicle Crash from Chen Pao. Um, which is good. I like just Dazzling plus Rock Slide here. I really do like Dazzling plus Rock Slide. Do I Terra? Do I want to save a Terra for Dragonite? I kind of... No, Flutter has gone. No, we'll save, we'll save the Terra. We'll save the Terra. I think Dazzling plus Rock Slide picks up the KO anyway. They're just going to protect, though. Ah, uh, they have their own Thunder Wave. Okay. Uh, that's fine. 
Like, I think we're still probably going to outspeed whatever Grimmsnarl wants to attack with. My main worry is Paralysis Lock. Funny they, cho they chose not to Light Screen, but instead Para the Flutter. I feel like Light Screen might have been a more, uh, a more worthwhile play for them. It's tough now because, like, now the I, now uh, Chen Pao can like para flinch. Water Ogre Pond is their last mon. Uh, Dragonite walls that pretty well, honestly. Um, so, yeah, and the Chen Pao just protected. So I think we just focus on the Chen Pao. Uh, well, I mean, as as much as we can, I guess. Um. We can para the Chen Pao. Yeah, I kind of like actually para paralyzing the uh, the Chen Pao so that Dragonite can come in and outspeed it. And we Dazzling Gleam for Chip. Or, you know, quote-unquote Chip. It's still going to do a, a bunch. Hopefully we get through para, though. They might double up on the Flutter here, but I still like my position even if they do. Actually, Ivy... No, Ivy Cudgel might... No, they didn't... Oh, wow. Okay, that that had to have been a crit. No? Oh, it's Life Orb. Wow. Okay. It's Life Orb Chen Pao. Interesting. Ivy Cudgel, Terra Water into the Flutter. Okay. So we're going to get a Parad Chen Pao here. I still like my position. Um, Chen Pao is paralyzed, which means Dragonite is going to outspeed it coming in. And at that point, we're pretty golden, I think. We have Thunder Punch for the uh, for the Ogre Pond as well. Um, hmm. How exactly do I want to play this though? Because Iron Head will just KO the Chen Pao, but the, but I'm I feel like the Chen Pao would protect here. But I also feel like with how bulky my Dragonite is, even a Terra Water, um, hmm, I feel I feel like they would I feel like they would protect Pao here. They're not perfect. Okay, the Ivy Cudgel will KO the Dun Sparks, but now it's a one v one. It's a 1v1 with, uh... Hmm, on second thought, does Iron Head KO? <laughs> oh my god! I actually thought that would KO. What is... What? I really, truly thought it would. I'm, um... Hmm. So I, I have two options here. I like... No, I like neither of them. I could go for an iron... Uh, hmm. Could go for another iron head and try and flinch. I think the better play might be to try to thunder punch, though. I'm used to, like... Oh my god, I'm used to more offensive Dragonite, I guess. Um... Yeah, we'll do this. I don't know. I I, th I thought this was a good position because I thought Iron Head would do more than that. I guess like Life Orb Chen Pao's do have, yeah, they do have more bulk than like not. Uh. Oh, I wonder if Terra. No, I didn't want to lose my resistance to to Ivy Cudgel. Oh, they're swords dancing. Okay. Maybe we get a lucky Thunder Punch Para. No. Yeah, this is over. Okay, so Ivy Cudgel will just KO now. Um. 
Also, that was a crit, right? That had to have been a crit. I, I think I just have to go for an extreme speed, like, crit on Ogre. And they can just Sacred Sword for the win. Yeah, okay, whatever. No, no crit there. Okay, so we're over two. So far, this game plan definitely isn't working out as well as I had hoped. Um, I also feel like the team around the Dunsparce could be a little bit more solid. Like, I really... I don't know. I think, like... It's, it's like I mentioned in the team breakdown. Like, I really wanted a, a better... Like, like... Dragonite is a really, really good pivot mon, especially with Assault Vest and with its dragon typing. And I just I just feel like, I don't know, maybe something better could have gone in that slot. But I also think we need to utilize Landorus a little better as well. Uh, like, we haven't brought Landorus to a game yet. At this point, we have brought every mon except for Landorus. And I don't know, lowering attack might be a good thing. <laughs> as it turns out. Like, the, the problem is, like, I guess the Dunsparce is a good pivot mon, too. We have a pretty similar team here. Like, all three of the teams we fought have been, like... Well, this this team is really similar to the first team. It's Pow Knight plus Ursh, Rilla, Flutter, and Fire Ogre this time instead of Landris. Yeah, I actually, I do like Lando here. I don't like Lando in front of Flutter. I don't like it in front of Ursh. But it is still useful if I manage it right. Um, hmm. All right, let, let's, let's try something different here. Let's try Bundle Flutter in front. So very, very offensive. Uh, very offensively. They don't have speed control on their team, so... Uh, I think Bundle Flutter is good, especially if we can tear a Ghost to avoid Fake Out in turn one. I like to Dunsparce in the back, because remember, we have to bring Dunsparce to every game. <laughs> Which is a rule that I only sometimes regret. Um, and I like Rillaboom for... Uh, or just general Urshfu defense. Um, we have to make sure to take care of the fire ogre pawn. Like, Rock Slide is super effective. I wonder if Rock Slide 2 at KO's ogre. Um, it is super effective against ogre pawn, though, and they can't tear out of that. So, that is a thing that we can use to our advantage. Dragonite Chen Pao. Okay, this is a good lead for us. Bundle and Flutter is a really, really good counter for Chen Pao and Dragonite. Um,. I think they don't have Flutter in the back. They they don't have Flutter. Um, I am a fan of just Icy Wind plus uh, Dazzling, and like I think we do we tear a Ghost. No, I don't think they had extreme speed here. I mean, if I were them, I'd switch out, but, like, I don't know. I think we just Icy Wind and Dazzling, no Terra. Sucker Punch. Okay, they might have been expecting Terra Ghost. And it's a good thing that I didn't. And now Dazzling's gonna go off, and I think it's gonna kill the Dragonite. Oh, I was going to kill both of them. That's sick. All right. Hmm. All right, so now we're in a really good position, and it's all thanks to the Duns... I mean, uh, wait, never mind.
Okay, so Aqua Jet does not KO here. Uh, based on the team makeup, I would not be surprised at all if this were Scarf Urshifu. I think we still preserve our Terra here. Um, actually, maybe not. No, there's actually no reason for us not to tear up Fairy Fluttermane here unless they try to call our Terra Fairy and fake out. Hmm. No, I'm going to tear a Ghost here and Icy Wind and Dazzling again. Because I'm very wary of fake out. And honestly, the only thing that can stop... Uh, Fluttermane from getting off massive damage here is fake out onto the uh, onto the iron bundle. So we're gonna Terra Ghost to avoid fake out, and they're gonna Terra Water probably. We have Rillaboom in the back. Yeah, Terra Water. Okay, Thank thankfully it's not Terra Poison. This is probably a Scarper Shifu. That's why I Terra Ghosted to Icy Wind to. Oh, I didn't see Grassy grass Glide coming. I, I saw Fake Out coming. Okay, that might not be good. So now we have to Dunce Parse, because they're going to Surging Strikes the Flutter. Um, oh, it's not Scarfed. It was not Scarfed. Okay, that's huge. So if they're not Scarfed... Then they have detect or protect. So if they see Rillaboom come in, they're probably going to protect Ursh. But like for what? It's not like Rillaboom can do anything to my Rillaboom. Right? <laughs> right? I mean, there's no, like, I guess, okay. Oh, we have Hyper Drill. We have Hyper Drill. Oh my god, I forgot about that. We have Hyper Drill. So they can't protect. <laughs> I wonder how much Woodhammer does to, uh, to Dunsparce here. But they're going to U-turn uh, for super effective damage, but that's not a two-shot, it looks like. Okay, I did considerable damage. Tarilla. Yo, this is our game. We got one. Okay, awesome. Or pretty sure, at least. There's nothing they can do unless... Well, what could Rilla have here to do something? Yeah, cool. Awesome. We just sent out the right lead versus them. Um... I guess I saw Pound Knight coming this time. Um, led with the right duo to stop them and made the right decisions, maybe except for Terra Ghost, except like we had, I think we had the game in the bag anyway with what we had in the back. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, Terra Ghost there was probably still the right call. All right, game number four. Something a little different. Okay, we have Tornadus, Urshifu. Uh, Arcanine, Hisui, Landorus, Incarnate, Golden Go, and Rillaboom. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Lando, I... scares the heck out of me. Um, I... I mean, we do have Bundle. It scares the heck out of me in general. But, like, we have Iron Bundle. We have the Mon. We have, like, the Mon that counters it right now. Um, but they can always tear a Poison, which means... Our own Landorus is good with stomping. Um, I think Landorus here is very good in general on everything except for their own Urshifu. Um, I think Lando's a definite bring here, and I think the Dunsparce. If they lead Torn Ursh, what can I lead with? I think if it's Torn Ursh, then. Rillaboom is a solid lead. I think the Dunsparce Rilla is like really solid. 
Uh, and I think we want Lando in the back for sure. And I think we want Iron Bundle uh, for if Lando I makes an appearance. But, like, we really have to position ourselves well here and, like, account for what they have in the back. All right, so their, their lead's gonna be Golden Go and Rillaboom. Okay, so again, hmm. How do I stop Golden Go here? <laughs> um, admittedly, Golden Go is not on my list of. Uh... Okay, I, I think we bring in. Uh, I think we bring in Rilla here. Sorry, uh, we bring in Landorus here. Uh, try and force a Terra Dragon. Because hopefully it is Terra Dragon. Um. I do like. I do kind of like glaring their Rilla. Now we'll see how this works. I do like glaring their Rilla. Bring in the Landorus both to lower the attack of the Rilla and to threaten the Golden Go. With a big stomping. I might have wanted the Tailwind, honestly, but whatever comes in is going to get a Glare. It's their Arcanine. Okay. Pretty nice, actually. So that means that my Rilla is going to outspeed their Arcanine. Yeah, there's the expected nasty plot. This is a pretty good position for Lando, though. Um, with the exception of... Uh... With the exception of Golden Go threatening a knockout. Hmm. How exactly do I want to play this? I can see a protect coming from Golden Go here because it it knows that it's like the primary target here. Hmm. The problem is the only mon that we really have to do anything to Golden Go with is Landorus. Uh, so let's Rock Slide. Yeah, and we Stomping. Withdrawing Arcanine, okay. Yeah, there's the Protect. Either way, like I need damage onto this Golden Go. And they're about to fake out the, uh... They're about to fake out the Landorus, which is not good. Yeah, Golden Go is a problem. <laughs> Golden Go is a problem. I can't even Hyper Drill it either. Uh, I can't Glare it. I guess what I can do is Tailwind so that uh, Rillaboom will outspeed it. Like, that's the best thing the Dunsparce can do right now. Um, could... Hmm. Can also sack, like... Sack our own Rillaboom. What do they have in the back? I have nothing. I have nothing versus this Golden Go right now. <laughs> like, I need to preserve Lander Asterion for the Golden Go, and... I don't know, maybe, they're, maybe they'll Terra... No, they wouldn't Terra Dragon after a fake out. Like, Rillaboom's gone here. The Dunspar's sticking around, though. So we're gonna get up a Tailwind. I, I guess. This is so bad. Yeah, Golden Go is going to mow me down right now. Um, oh, boy. Um, I can't even encore the Golden Go. Damn. 
I can encore the, the Rilla, though, I guess. But, like, what would that even do? Like, I, I don't... There's, like, no reason to do that. My only hope... My only hope is forcing a Terra Dragon here. Like, I know it's 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 such a bad spot because I know they're going to protect the Golden Go. I know they're going to protect the Golden Go here because, of, like, they're either going to protect or Terra Dragon. They could just Terra Dragon. That's a thing. Um... I can also see the Rilla switching out here. Um... I don't particularly think that's a reason to... Glare that slot. Now I'm wishing I had. It's Arcanine again, okay. I want to at least get some damage off on this Golden Go. <laughs> at least Rock Slide's going to do something here to, uh, to Arc. Something. I mean, like, the Dunsparce is at minus two. It only hits, like, 140 attack. That's super effective Rock Slide right there. We're under Tailwind. We could still, like flinch. We could still flinch the uh, the Golden Go, maybe. Could. That's our only hope, I think. That's that's our only way out of this. This Golden Go is in such a good position. Although it is only at 1.5 uh, special attack now, so I'm not sure if it KOs Lando. I don't remember. Ah. Uh, it's pretty big. Stomping into the Golden Go. They didn't Terra. That still does over half. Rock Slide. Give me a Rock Slide flinch. Give me a Rock Slide flinch on Golden Go. I need it. Oh my god, we got it. Okay, okay, okay. Huge. <laughs> That's massive. That's actually massive. Okay, you know what they're going to do now? I think, well, um, the Arc, I'm not, like, we still have no indication of what the Arcanine's, like, set is. Like, it could be a bulky Citrus, uh, could also be just be Choice Banded. We don't know yet. Like, we have no idea. Actually, no. Arcanine went first there, so it used Extreme Speed. Um, I mean, either set has Extreme Speed, so we still don't know. Um... I think either way, we do the same thing. Uh, you know what? No, they're gonna protect for Rilla to come in. Here, we'll 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 do. Oh no 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 no. Okay, that's whatever. <laughs> well, hopefully that stomping went into the Golden Go. <laughs> I forgot about Choice Scarf. Um. It's fine. I don't I don't think it's gonna terror me. Yeah, there's the protect. Yep, oh, Slomic Tantrum into the protect. Okay, so it did go into the slot I wanted. Uh, I think this is our last turn of Tailwind as well. Rillaboom is still paralyzed, so there is a chance it doesn't get off the fake out. Wait, no, Rillaboom is not paralyzed. Right, it switched in. Uh, the the thing, uh, the Arcanine switched in. So it's not paralyzed. Although I do like glaring here. I like glaring the. Uh, I like glaring you. They can do one of two things here. They can do fake out the Lando, or they can... Uh, 
Or they can bring an Arcanine. Either one is, like, good for them. But, like, again, we need to hit, we need to hit the Golden Go. And honestly, make it rain probably KOs now. Yeah, well, we're getting the pair off, at least, on the Dunsparce. We didn't get enough damage off on Golden Go. Like, Leftovers plus Grassy Terrain Recovery is pretty, pretty good on Golden Go. I know this from experience, because I, I'm, I'm basically playing that right now in Reg F. It is very strong. And it's very hard to stop in the right circumstance. And this, this is one of those circumstances. <laughs> Uh, Iron Bundle can come in and do no damage, as Iron Bundle usually does. Uh, like, not like even Hydro Pump wouldn't kill. I uh, wouldn't kill the Golden Go right now. Like, there's no. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do here. There's nothing I can do. Like, I guess, like, yeah, it's like, I mean, Bundle's gone this turn anyway. Like, they're probably going to Woodhammer the Bundle and just make it rain to end the game. Like, yeah, it's their game. Uh, so, well, they are parrot. I can try for a Freeze on Golden Go. That might be my only out. A Freeze on Golden Go plus a full para. <laughs> or a flinch. <laughs> on Rilla. Ooh, okay. And yeah, we have just enough bulk to live that. Freeze? No. Okay. Alright, GG's. Yeah, so we just had nothing for Golden Go. Like, I didn't bring... Uh, if I brought Dragonite, maybe... Yeah, Salt Fest Dragonite would have been nice there. But, like, I straight up just didn't think of Golden Go, and... I think if if I weren't forced to bring the Dunsparce, I might have wanted to bring Dragonite, but like honestly, Dragonite should have been a higher priority than that for me. So eh. It is what it is. Alright, here we go. Last game. Game number five. We're we're one in three so far. Okay, it's Psy Spam. Oh, this is basically uh this is Tiago's team from LAIC, uh the runner-up team, I think. With uh Reggie Lucky and NDD Armor Rouge. No, not Armor Rouge. No, Tiara didn't have Armor Rouge. Um, it's similar, though, with like Reggie Lucky and NDD. The, the Reggie Lucky made me think it was similar. Okay, so. Uh, well, it's Psy Spam, which means we're definitely bringing Rillaboom in the back uh, for both Psy Spam and for Urshifu. Um, I like Lando as well. Yeah, I do like Lando. I can definitely see myself Terra flying Lando this game uh, to deal with the Fluttermane. I do have to be careful about the Regieleki, though, if I do that. Um, so, yeah, I like... I like the Dunsparce. I like... Hmm... Kind of like Dragonite in the lead, actually. And then Brilla and Lando in the back. So this is actually kind of dangerous because I just realized after locking in that I am bringing, uh, I'm bringing only one Mon with Protect <laughs> into a Trick Room matchup. I think Rillaboom definitely helps us here, though, because, like, you know, if they set up Psy Spam, which they're not immediately, which is interesting... Um, I like this. Sort of. Uh... If we paralyze... No, I can't paralyze Reggie Lucky. Um... But I can Rock Slide plus, like, Thunder Punch the Tornadus to get rid of that. Yeah, I like that. 
Okay, whatever's coming in is getting a rock slide. Indeedy, okay. Well, good thing I didn't extreme speed. I was I was considering it, but I didn't really need to. And also, this is just going to KO, I think, the, the Tornadus, hopefully. Rock slide, maybe? Yes, okay, good. All right, so all they could do is set Tailwind. Which is now really awkward for them because if they brought their if they brought like arm rouge in the back, they can't set trick room, but they're still gonna outspeed um they're not gonna outspeed Lando I. Sorry, Lando T. My I don't know why I said Lando I. Um But yeah, now they have Tailwind up. We can counteract that with our own Tailwind if we want to. Oh, they have Dark Urshifu, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um Dark Urshifu. Yeah, I do like counteracting with our own Tailwind here. Um, it might be Scarf Urshifu. Wouldn't surprise me. Um... I think I want to target down the NDD. We'll just iron head the NDD. Drain punch on the Dunsparce. Okay. Drain punch Urshifu is interesting. It's okay. We're still going to get Tailwind up. Reflect NDD. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, I brought all physical attackers. <laughs> Indeed, I brought all physical attackers. Um, well, if you're going to use Drain Punch and not Wicked Blow here, like, are you just going to Drain Punch the... If I switch Lando in for Dragonite here and it drain punches the, the Dunsparce again, I'm not sure it KOs. But I do kind of like bringing in Lando here. I mean, yeah, I, I like bringing in Lando and Rilla. Uh, I think we double switch, honestly. Worth it to note that our Tailwind is a little staggered from theirs, so we will have a turn where we're just faster than them. Like, we will have a turn where our Tailwind is active and theirs isn't. I wonder if that might be the turn they... No, like, they're not going to set Trick Room. They have all fast mons. They have Aleki. They have... Uh... Wow, that still did a lot. Hello? Oh, it was a crit. That makes sense. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Well, I did say I was going to Terra Flying, right? I wonder if this Urshavu is Scarfed. Like, I still have no indication. Might be locked in the drain punch. I can see it being scarfed, especially on this team makeup. Um, so yeah, let's do this. If it's scarfed and adamant, then we likely outspeed. And I'm gonna go for wood hammer on to uh let's see if they protect. The unfortunate thing is here, like, even though Grassy Terrain is up, um, Landorus does not get heal from it, which is a bit unfortunate. They're Terra, um, are we Terra Dark? Terra Poison. Uh, I mean, kind of interesting to Terra Poison in front of a Landorus, but especially if you're just going to use Follow Me. Hmm. 
did nothing. <laughs> okay, they're not scarfed. Uh, but Woodhammer will KO the Ndidi, which means we'll have grassy terrain for the rest of the fight. Which is good, because we can bring in Dragonite for extreme speed. Um, this still looks a little ugly for us, though. We're going to take a little bit of recoil damage here and a little bit of rocky helmet damage. This isn't great, because now uh, Urshifu resists Rillaboom. And that's not fantastic. But we do have... Uh, we do have Dragonite here with uh, Stomping. We also have the Dunsparce. What are they going to bring in? Either Aleki or... Uh, I don't remember what they what else they had. Can definitely see them protecting here. Like, Regilecki's still gonna outspeed both. <laughs> uh, not sure if the Rillaboom will outspeed after a speed drop uh, from Electroweb. We'll see about that. Um, stomping is really good here. Onto either. Can definitely see the Urshfu protecting. Uh, just because of the speed, like... The speed, uh... Disadvantage that they have right now. I think we double the Alecky. Thunderbolt, okay. Just KO, please. Good, thank you. Now Stomping's gonna go into the Urshfu. That's huge. That's huge at that one shot. Awesome. I mean, Reggie Alecky's not very bulky, so... I'm not... Incredibly surprised. That did abs. Oh my god. I'm. I swear to god, I'm. I'm never using not offensive Dragonite again. Like, you gotta do at least half. You gotta do at least half, <laughs> <laughs> do at least half to tear a poison Urshifu. Like, come with stomping. I mean, I think we're still in a good position here. Um, I think extreme speed makes sense. Um, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if... Uh, yeah, because they're going to outspeed both of us. Um... Punch, yeah. And I had Terra. I had Terra in my, uh, whatchamacallit. I can't believe how little damage Stomping is doing. I need a big crit here. It's not even at minus one either. It's just straight up. Oh, you know what? They had Reflect up. That's what it was. Oh, God, I forgot about Reflect. Okay, so... Now, it's just whether or not Wicked Blow KOs. And honestly, I don't know if Wicked Blow KOs, because my Dragonite's super bulky. Nope, it... yeah, okay. It was a close game, because I had extreme speed as well. I had extreme speed pressure at the end. Um... Okay, so, yeah, that's just, that's just tough. It is very tough to play with the Dunsparce, I will say that, just because, like, yeah, it's great for setting, uh, for, for, excuse me, it's great for spreading status, but not necessarily for anything else, I feel. It's just too slow. Like, it just feels too slow, and, like, we only had a couple of instances where we were able to flinch things or like, I mean, we were able to paralyze a lot of things, but it didn't really help. Like it, like, yeah, we paralyzed the Rillaboom, but like the Pokemon that we really needed to paralyze, we just like, weren't ever really able to, uh, like 
the Golden Go, for like the Golden Go is the biggest, the the uh, biggest example there. Like, I really needed to be able to hit that thing. I really needed to be able to hit Golden Go, and I just didn't have anything that could hit it. And quite frankly, I probably should have brought Dragonite to that matchup, but it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. So to recap. Game one was a loss. I felt like my game plan for the most part was decently executed, but I just didn't have the offense I needed with the four that I brought to break through their team. The pair of flinch hacks, quote unquote, didn't work well enough to secure a victory, and I was left with an unfavorable endgame. Fluttermane and Iron Bundle would have been a decent lead in hindsight. Game 2 was closer, but still a loss. The Dunsparce did its job and paralyzed what it could, and I played for an endgame that I thought was favorable, but I did not expect bulky Life Orb Chen Pao, and my bulky Dragonite just didn't deal as much damage as it needed to. Game 3 was a win. We basically overpowered their Chen Pao plus Dragonite lead with Iron Bundle and Fluttermane, and had Rillaboom and the Dunsparce in the back to clean up. Game 4 was a loss, I forgot to account for Golden Go, and had not much to hit it with at all, and my opponent played as well as they needed to to secure the win. In hindsight, Dragonite would have been a solid bring, but not sure if it would have provided enough offense. Game 5 and my final game was also a loss, but a pretty close one. Reflect on Ndidi was something I didn't expect, and it ultimately won them the game, as once again, my bulky Dragonite set just couldn't do enough damage in the end game to their Urshifu, and it also didn't help me that I forgot that Reflect was up at one point. Thank you for watching all the way through. Overall, the games were kind of ugly, but I feel like it wasn't entirely due to the Dunsparce. I felt like the team I built lacked proper coverage and suffered because of that, but oh well. The Dunsparce was still fun to use. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, be sure to comment which Pokemon you'd like to see next, and once again, thank you very much for watching.